Today we're going to be discussing a citation that the Illinois Department of Public Health issued to Southgate Nursing Home in Metropolis, Illinois. Hi, my name is Barry Doyle. I'm a lawyer in Skokie practicing nursing home abuse and neglect work throughout the state of Illinois. I'm also the author of Built to Fail, a free report which is available for download from my website which describes how the nursing home business model inevitably produces unnecessary injuries and deaths for nursing home residents. So the Illinois Department of Public Health has issued a citation for uh, against South, Southgate Nursing Home in Metropolis after a resident there uh, suffered a brain bleed and two fractures to her lower back after she was dropped out of a, a lift while being transferred by an aide. Now a mechanical lift is a great tool um, to use in a nursing home when used properly. That's sort of a, a key phrase, when used properly. Uh, it has a potential to keep the aides from being injured while trying to, to transfer residents. It also allows for safe transfer for residents from bed to wheelchair, chair to wheelchair, etc. Um, the thing is, it, it does have to be used properly. And in order to use a uh, lift properly, uh, the lift itself has to be in safe condition and uh, it has to be operated safely, which requires the, the assistance of two staff members. One to actually control the lift, uh, the devices on it, and the other to uh, steady the resident in the sling of the lift. So what happened to this particular resident is the resident had been showered by an aide and a single aide was transferring the resident from the shower chair back to her bed. Um, as she was doing so, the sling on, on the lift uh, tore. The resident fell from the, the lift, landing on top of the legs of the lift. Um, the resident was transferred uh, by ambulance to a local hospital where she was diagnosed as having suffered uh, a brain bleed as well as two fractures to uh, vertebrae in her lower back. There are ba uh, two basic failures that, that occurred uh, with regard to this particular nursing home fall. The first of these is that the uh, sling that was being used was not a proper sling. It was actually uh, a lift sheet that was uh, had a couple of loops in the corners that were being, and this lift sheet was being used as uh, a sling rather than a proper sling. And what happened is that the uh, cloth to this uh, lift sheet tore and resulted in the resident falling out of the sling. The second is uh, uh, what we see so often with uh, transfer accidents where you have one person doing a two-person job. Uh, using a lift properly requires two staff members. There's one staff member in this case uh, doing the transfer and it's something that, that just shouldn't have occurred. Um, so often we find that, that you know, when you look uh, deep down as to why you have one person doing a two-person job, it, it, it shows that this is a nursing home that is uh, understaffed and uh, understaffing uh, of a nursing home is sadly it's part of the basic uh, nursing home business model and too often it ends up resulting in poor care for residents where you have staff members cutting corners uh, trying to get the work done that they have assigned to them um, but they you know, simply don't have the help that they need to get the work done in a, in a proper fashion. So you end up having one person doing a two-person job and uh, avoidable injuries being the inevitable result of that. And that's exactly what occurred here. I hope this has been interesting. My name is Barry Doyle. You can reach us at 312-263-1080 if you have any questions regarding this video or any other issue that you may have concern, concern, concerning a nursing home. Uh, you can also reach us on the web at www.accidentlawillinois.com. Thanks so much for watching.